getting really weird. It's getting very, 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 very nerve wracking because now that it's a few days away, I'm realizing all of the stuff that I haven't really looked into doing that I need to get done that Stacy, my fiance, is like way ahead of the game. She's like, you know, she's chill. It's like, like the, only what? Thing, the only thing I see on her calendar is like there's an appointment for nails like on Thursday. So the nails are good. But, uh, you know, just like getting family together, because a lot of my relatives are coming from out of town. A lot of them are staying at my house, like, you know, the washing of the sheets to getting things ready to picking up food to figuring out my kids schedules to, you know, like who's driving who where. So I had a big meeting with my kids last night and, and they're like, you really need to get your act together. You really need to start, <laughs> start laying this all out, because like as of last night at seven o'clock, we didn't have a plan for like how we're all getting to the wedding. Are we driving separate? Are we are we going together? Are we staying the night the night before? So it is getting close, and I am starting to get nervous about it. Um, now, I think so. you, just because of all the you stuff, you talked for four minutes straight without taking a breath. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Which but, part are you nervous about? Um, I think the details, not the actual wedding itself. I think once the wedding hits, it's fine. Just the details of getting everybody together and the family and and, right. and working all that stuff. Mm -hmm. I think I'm I'm very nervous about that. And I want my kids to have a good time at the wedding and I, I want them to be uh you know involved and in feeling good and my, my my cousins and everybody to have a good time. I want everybody to have a good time. You guys to have a good time. That's what I'm concerned about. No, no Bridezilla awesome. Bridezilla signs of anything or groomzilla. I, I mean, I've seen I, I've seen a few like of course Stacy is a delicate, patient little flower of love. Mm -hmm. I've seen her like Bridezilla on other things. Not me, per se, but I've seen her freak out about details where, you know, she ordered some giant flower hexagon that showed up as a giant flower octagon, and that just will not do. <laughs> so I'm, I'm like, she's like, I need you to go out with tools and bend this into a hexagon. Octagon, no. Hexagon, we're going to have. So. Well, a week from today, it'll all be over. Mm. At least. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, the, the wedding planning, part. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Be, I mean, yeah. we'll be sitting here going, wow, what a great wedding. That was amazing. Oh, my God. Well, I really hope so. I really hope so. I know this. I know the music's going to be great. All the way around, I know the music's going to be great. That, that sets part. the whole vibe. I so I feel so. like if you're if you're confident with that, the wedding's going to just be a blast. I what, think what, I'm do you have a, a like DJ crazy. or a live band? Live band. Okay. I'm Horn section think, and everything. I'm trying to think like what's better like, as a as a guest because like I was at a wedding a couple weeks ago and they had a live band. I'm like oh that's neat, but I'd really like to hear the original version of that song. <laughs> <laughs> I think it depends on which live yeah. band you pick. Yeah. yeah, true. But still, I want to like I know that song and like, who you are. I'm going to do the electric slide. I mean, they, they, the the band does all that. They're I know, but it just that's what I'm trying. To, I'm just trying to figure out because the band, the wedding I was at a couple weeks ago, the band was fantastic. But I was still kind of like, eh, I'd rather hear Bruno Mars do Uptown Funk. <laughs> Makes sense. You are a tough one to please, say, John Jay. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Even if Bruno Mars sings it, there's gonna be something wrong with it. Right. But if they had a DJ, you're like, what? You can't spring for a band. Got to have a DJ. No, I, I, think, I think I like the DJ thing better. But that's I mean, just, a lot of but I don't do. know yet. I don't know yet. I like I'm live music. My own, I'm just bringing my own DJ to your wedding. I think that's a good idea. I just like live music anywhere. I just like live performances wherever I am. That's my thing. See, well, I like that. You like mm -hmm. those personal touches in a wedding, I think, make a big difference. Yeah, I think so. At least I hope so. We'll see. We'll see. My vows are officially written. I've already done them. I think they're good. Oh, that's good. They're not traditional vows. I threw out the template because it was confusing me. So I just wrote down what I wanted to say. And then I edited it and edited and edited. And it turns out that um, Stacy and I, without ever talking to each other, we put our uh, our vows into this little thing that tells you how long, how many words yours are and how long mm -hmm. it'll take to read. And just by happenstance, we have the exact same amount of words. Oh, wow. So that's kind of fun. Yeah, put that in your vows. <laughs> <laughs> well, then the words will be different. Well, that it, that's going to make it 500 words. It's going to be very exciting. Crazy. <laughs> getting married. Now. That's crazy. Um, so over the weekend, I did something that I, I hadn't done in a long time. I decided to get on my bike, which I bought from Kyle's husband 10 years ago. Oh, that one? Yeah. <laughs> oh. I was like, I'm going to go for a bike ride. And I went on a bike ride to, which I think a lot of people do. I rode on the bike six miles to do a hyperbaric chamber for 90 minutes. So many people do that. Then I worked out for an hour, and then I did 20 minutes of my red light, and then I rode my bike home. And it was 12 miles. And my butt hurts, because, you know, the seat's hard. <laughs> but something happened on the way. Like, I was I was really feeling good when out in the wild riding a bike. <laughs> Get you know, fresh air. Yeah, sure. it's, just, it's just a different world when you're on a bike, you know? So I'm like, and I'm on my, on my street, which is safe. I'm, I'm on my street, but my street's really long. 
and, and I'm kind of like, there's no cars around anywhere, and it's just a residential street, and I'm feeling good, right? And I'm standing up, and I'm pedaling, and I'm starting going really fast. And I feel like I'm going, like, in my brain, I know it's not true, but in my, I feel like I'm going the fastest any human can go on a bike. Sure. <laughs> right? And I mean, I'm hauling ass on this bike, and I'm feeling athletic, like I'm in the zone, right? And I'm looking, I could see way down the street, I could see my house, but I was hauling ass. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I hear, on your left, and some old guy, like the old guy in in the black hole cycling outfit, you know, that he's got the black pants on, the black the shirt, he's got the helmet, the black, he just goes right past uh. me. <laughs> and I'm like, what? How can this guy possibly pass me up? Like, I feel like I was going faster than any human. So then I decide <laughs> I'm going to pedal at his pace. And I'm pedaling his pace, and he just kept going further and further and further, and he disappeared. And oh, I just, I just don't know. I just, I just don't get it. I wonder if it was, was a different high. type of bike because they have my racing son bikes. But still, I feel like that none of that factor. matters. No, <laughs> because he was my in six gear, you were in six. I don't even know how to work gears work. <laughs> Think about this: when you hike, there's always an old person wearing like flip flops, and you're like, you know, dressed for the adventure, and they always pass you. Mm-hmm. They always lap you. It's like they they just walked out of their kitchen. <laughs> I had a guy pass me up in khaki pants, and he was carrying a dog, and he had a cane. And he passed me on a hike one time, and I was like, what? And then when I got to the top. I was sweating. I was. He was just up there, like all nice, looking at the view. <laughs> shirt tucked in, nice Must polo be shirt. Nice guy. Yeah, I was just. I couldn't believe it, man. I was just dying. <laughs>